Hello, this is a very quick look at the Virgin Atlantic in-flight entertainment and food. The seats are quite comfortable. This is economy class and you've got a movable headrest. It's quite difficult to sleep on, but fine if you are doing a daytime flight. The in-flight entertainment system is really good actually. It offers a Netflix-like experience, giving you up-to-date movies, TV, music, games. The touchscreen panel in theory should be really good. Um, and as you can see when it works, it works really well, but it can be very frustrating. The seat I was sat on, as you can see here, you have to tap away, it just doesn't, doesn't respond very well, which is a pity because the content is actually really good. There's an onboard mobile network, and that allows a plane to get up-to-date news, and also allows you to connect to your mobile phone and receive and make calls. Do be aware you'll be charged roaming rates. Clicking through, you can select different genres of music, and I thought a good idea might be to listen to an audiobook, but they only had a single audiobook, and you find that with a lot of the music. When you actually click into it, there's not actually much music there, I guess because the space is dedicated to TV shows and films. Clicking through the more section gives you access to the USB and iPod control section. You can plug in a USB stick in an iPod and it also gives you access to destination guides and these are nice little films giving you information about various destinations so you can either have a look at where you're going or if you're on a return trip home you can have a look at your next holiday during your flight you can gain access to information about the local weather of uh, your destination and where you departed from and there's also a system to select movie and TV shows to watch later, which is really useful on a long flight. Once you've found a couple of things you want, you can just save those and pick them up to a later date. You can plug in your own headphones. I use these excellent August headphones and I'll be putting a link in the description below. And I'd recommend you do use those because the ones that are provided are not great. They don't block out a lot of sound. As with other flights that you may have been on, you can gain access to a flight map and that just shows you where you are in the world at that point and gives you extra information such as local timing, destination and where you've set off from. Overall the food was just okay, um, they did have a nice menu with the selection so you're not just stuck with one thing and this is the salad here which was okay and the bread wasn't especially crispy, it was like a day old bread. Um, the food looks worse than it actually tasted, it was actually not too bad. This is the chicken. And this is the chill con carne. Little plastic knives and forks you get with it and you got a nice little dessert. Part way into the flight we also received an ice lolly which was really good actually because my mouth was quite dry at that point, it was quite warm on the plane cooled us down and then later on in the evening we received a sandwich snack box which was just before we landed on the return trip I was flying at night there was a different set of food available so this is the pasta dish that you just saw on the menu and there was also a chicken dish available both came with a bit of salad to start with and again we got a nice little dessert just to finish things off I actually paid for extra legroom and it was well worth it on the return flight, although I would say that if you do pay for extra legroom you will get a different style monitor, so instead of it being built into the seat you get it as a fold out and it just folds back in. Overall I think the in-flight entertainment is really good, you also get a little uh, eye mask to wear at night just to block out all this light. If you're interested in booking with Virgin I'll put a link below and if you are heading to Florida check out my Florida playlist where you can see what I got up to. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful.